well. You've reached another episode of the Kicking It with KC Show. Got a great show here for you today. We're going live with my man, Bubba Dub Jr. So this should be an awesome show. Very, very, very funny guy, man. I cannot wait. So we will get this thing popping off. So my man Dub gets in. I appreciate, I appreciate, I appreciate y'all for tuning in like you always do. Yes, yes, yes. How's everybody doing? Hope y'all are all well. You know, it's been tough, you know what I'm saying? A lot of things going on, especially when it comes to, you know what I'm saying, this pandemic. It's a lot of stuff that, you know, us, you know, there's a lot of facts and a lot of things that are going on that we really don't have a full knowledge of, but we're trying our best. We're trying to, you know, make it what it is. But, you know, at some point in time, some point in time, man, we'll get this thing together. So anyway, let's get this thing, we get it shared out, get it out to our folks. We are live here on xsquadradio.com. And man, let me tell you, it's been a growth here, man. 2021, I am really trying to I'm really, man, I'm, I'm, I'm blessed. I'll say that, yo. I'm blessed. I'm seriously blessed. I, I've really gotten to the point where I'm just overflowed, man, overjoyed with a lot of things, opportunities and things that have, you know, really come across. And, you know, just the daily, man, the daily interaction, man, the daily things that, you know, I really can say that me and my family have faced have been just blessings, man. So I feel like everybody that I've touched and I've been involved with, man, had some levels of blessings. You know, I feel like who you interact with, who you are involved with in your day to day is very influential for, you know, the outcome of, you know, who you are. And I just luckily, man, just have been in a great spot. I call it blessings. I don't know if I said luck, but definitely blessings. So that's good, man. That is, that's, that's, that's a good thing, you know, continuously give thanks and praise for everything, man, everything that, you know, that you, you know, that you receive. And with that, you know, I say, man, you know, if you, if you live a positive, blessed life, you know, you know, it's what you put in, what you put, what you put in comes out basically. Dude. Not yet. I don't have you. I don't have the visuals on you yet, but there you that go. I got you, brother. Looking great. Yep. Yes. How goes it, man? Great, man. You. How about you? Good, man. I see you've been busy, man. I see you on the road, man. I think you was in Charlotte last, right? Yes, sir. I was in Charlotte Wednesday. Okay. How was that? Uh, it was great. That's was my great. second city there, man. That's my second city. Charlotte. Hey, man, I, huh? I found out it's a baby Atlanta. Yeah, man. I mean, a lot of people have said that for a long time, but I don't know. Charlotte got a little uniqueness. It's a little bit different from Atlanta. People, that, yeah. people, you know, we got a lot of stuff going on on this end. So if you want to kind of scale just slightly back without the traffic, get the same vibe. That's the spot. For sure, for sure. But you from the, the, the Dallas-Fort Worth area. What do you feel like Dallas versus Charlotte? No, I'm not from, bro. I just live here. Okay. I'm East <laughs> Texas. I'm East Texas. Okay, he sticks. All right, I got you. I got you. I got you. All right, it's a big difference living there and being from there, huh? Big difference. Big difference. I come from a small, small town, bro, of a thousand people. So okay. Listen, I'm going to get you in the character here, man. You're a snitching ass nigga, man. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, man, for real, man, for real. Check it. I just discovered you probably now. Three weeks or so. I had a brother out of Mississippi say, man, you got to check Bubba Dub, man. This dude, hilarious. I said, okay, let me go check this brother out. Man, I've been watching you every day, man. But, dog, you working with, man. You was a funny dude, man. For real. Appreciate it, bro. How did you get started in comedy? Oh, man. Uh, I started about four years ago. Uh, I tell the same story over and over. Uh, my, I wasn't on no um, social media. But my sister had... Uh, 
Tessa messaged me a video of Chris and Pops. They used to be on YouTube. Okay. It was a father and son. They used to argue. And I would go through the comments, and people would be like, man, this comedy. I'm like, huh? Like, yeah, this comedy. I heard this shit dope. So I just sat down with my girl and just, you know what I'm saying? I'm like, man, I'm fucking start doing some skits and shit. Some days to pay up in the hood way type skits. Right. You start putting them out, you start putting them out, and eventually like, you start taking off. Okay, okay. I got it. I get it. I get it. I get it. That song. So the good thing, man, that I'll say is that, you know what I'm saying, that with your brand of comedy, we all can relate to it. You know what I mean? It's it's just regular everyday stuff. You know what I mean? Exactly. Exactly. And, and I kind of noticed because I started watching, like you said, the same thing. I see a lot of brothers doing the whole doing skits. You know what I mean? Um, you see a lot of Country Wayne now. Uh, I seen Big Ja, and it's like I seen you know what I mean. Your boy, uh, who you who you on the show with coming up? We will talk about it a little later. I seen his skits and uh, Just hilarious and everybody. You know what I mean? It's like everybody got some kind of relationship. You know, somebody knows somebody has been in, you know that knows this person, and it's, it's like. All the skit makers got some kind of relationship at some point, but everybody is eating, you know what I mean? And that part is beautiful, man, that you're able to kind of take your own um, your own personal growth in your own hands. You know what I'm saying? Well, and you ain't got to worry about somebody else putting you out. So tell me about YouTube, like you said. And it wasn't on social media. You started, you, you saw this, and then you decided to go ahead and create and do some YouTube content. Yeah, I just started putting it on YouTube, and then I had to eventually had to get a Facebook, and of course, you know, your girl don't want you getting no Facebook. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> so I had to put that for a minute, and, um, you know, I was putting the stuff out. Uh, a lot of people who know me uh, knew, like, uh-oh, he done got, you know what I'm saying, who done got him started in this, or whatnot. And um, I just started putting it out. You know, a, lot, a lot of people didn't see my vision, but I always knew where I would be and where I would end up. Just a matter of time. As long as I put the work in, I would get the results that I wanted. And right. here I am, here I am right now today. So Hell still yeah. push. And that and, and and it's beautiful. You know what I mean? It's it's exactly where you want to be, and there's nothing but up from here. You know what I'm saying? And from I'm what saying. I heard, uh, shout out to your manager, Wild here. Um, he told me you're funny in comedy. I mean, on on a stand up. You know what I'm saying? So. Oh, is that your love? Is is, is stand up? Hell yeah! Mm. Love stand up more than I love skits. Tell me a little bit about your style as far as stand up. What's different about what you bring in? You know what I mean? Uh, you get, you, I mean, what you get on camera is what you get on stage. You get to see it up close and personal. It's, it's experience. You know what I'm saying? It's like a lot of times people are like, man, he, he funny on skits, but what what can you do in front of an audience? And then when you get me in front of an audience, I'm even more funny because it's more intimate. I kind of, I got you where I want you. Kind of like on the basketball court, one on one. Yeah. You know, I, I got you where I want you when I got you in front of me and in that in my element, cause that that's that's my home, that stage, that's my home. As you know, what I'm saying so. I'm just being me. I'm just being Bubba Dub, a character that I created. I'm just getting to be me, and I'm just putting it out out there. And I'll, I don't just stay on one topic in my comedy. I'm all over the place. I'm all over. It's like a roller coaster. I guess the way I go. That's hey, what I love. I, and I get it. And I get it. Listen, we're going we gonna to bring up one of these skits, man. Uh, I think I got the Trick Daddy one pulled up. Let me go ahead and uh, we're going to share this and uh, let the world see what I'm talking about. Some people, you know, just being exposed to you for the first time. And I saw the Trick Daddy one. And, that, and the funny thing is, I saw the Trick Daddy one before. I, I, didn't, I didn't relate this to you because, like I said, I just discovered you. About yeah. three weeks or so ago. But I saw this yeah. trick daddy one before. And then I said, oh shit, that was bubbled up, bubbled up. You know what sure. I mean? And so then I said, oh man. And I and, cause that was funny then. You know what I'm saying? But at that point, you know what I'm saying, I didn't lock in. But now yeah. like I said, I'm engaged and I'm watching, you know, I'm following you, I'm on your YouTube, I'm on your Facebook, on everything, you know what I'm saying? So I see every all your content when it comes out. Most definitely. But let's go ahead and get into this, man. Let the let the folks see it. Uh do this zoom thing. All right, give me a sec. Uh, boom. Okay. All right, let me share it with you. Did you see it? All right. Let's share 
So, all right, here we go. This insane system keeps pumping hey, out. Pop Giant. <laughs> no wrong. 14,000. <laughs> Hey, hey, check it out. I know you're your boy, but uh, hey, prepare to get your shit and get out of here, man. I want to find out you in here. What you talking about, Trick? You, you been snitching everything? You can't come sit up the hill with that shit, dog. Hey, man, bro, I come down here stood in your line for a fucking hour and eating. You gonna kick me out? You got game fucked up, Trick. Now you don't know now, nigga, that you snitch like me. I'm gonna tell a nigga what you put in the chick. Keep fucking with me like that, dog. You'll do some shit like that. See, I'm my mama. I have my mama where I tip. She can count me right now. Talking about the Perkins calling. Yeah, but I'm gonna walk off. I'm gonna burn this motherfucker down. Son, this eatery gonna be my spot, Trick. Oh, my mommy. I'll get y'all shit. Let's go, man. Trick got me fucked up out here, man, the 305, man. I'm out here dodging bullets and shit. Nigga with dreadlocks shooting at me, riding it. Don't you? Y'all got me fucked up out here, man. That nigga gotta be had a crack in that motherfucking fool, man. Right, you can't even know what your snitch at. Man, look at that fucking line, man. Gotta be cracking that fucking fool, man. Trick ain't playing with me, man. That last cornbread, that cornbread good on the bed. It needs to be bigger, though. Shit. This that Tell shit that Tiger Wood fell off the hill with. Man, fuck that shit. Trick got me fucked up out here, boy, for real. But I'm gonna shut this bitch down tomorrow. Ain't gonna be no motherfucking 30 day investigation. This bitch gets shut down tomorrow. Kick me out. Fuck that, man. I'm my mom. Nigga trick in, man. We riding all night looking for this food. Man, fuck that, man. Fuck you. You got a nigga riding all night. We've been, we been riding, bro. What, 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 you gonna run down on a nigga or what? Yeah, nigga, I told you I'm finna set this bitch ass nigga up, man. See, that's your problem, bro. That's your problem. That's why we got kicked out the fucking restaurant today, dog. Nigga trying to go in there to get a little food, make a deal with tricks so I can get me a bird. I would this close from getting the bird. And he come out and see your snitching ass. Man, that nigga don't know now, nigga like me, bro. I told that boy, man, you gonna kick me out? He going down. Simple as that. Pussy ass it. nigga not putting enough cornbread in the motherfucking plate. Collard greens ain't enough. Ain't enough pork chop. Ain't enough goddamn bean juice and shit. Fuck trick, man. Hey, man, the food good as fuck. The cornbread good too. But that nigga talking about they got bricks. That little ass piece of cornbread. Man, listen. <laughs> hey, they, hey, they, hey, that, that them nigga go right there. That's them right now. What you wanna do? You gonna snitch on him like you snitched on me? Hey, that nigga snitched on you too? Man, I had to tell on you, bro. You hear me paying your child support, nigga. You, and you still riding with this nigga? He snitched hey, on your you? your baby mama know you fucking up, Eddie. Oh, Come on, nigga. man. Now you, yeah. gonna, you gonna now you gonna put my baby mama in this. Man, man she fuck that. Me crying, so man, I we, we, hey, man, we ain't on that. There they go right there. What you gonna do? Yeah. Get ready, get ready, man. Get ready, man. Nah, let me out. What you mean, let you out? What you mean? Nah, let me out, dog. Fuck all this. What you mean, let you out, man? I'm gonna go shit, dog. Let me out. No, nigga, you just said we gonna get him, huh? I'm gonna get trick, not them. I'm gonna get them later. <laughs> Did this nigga just say he on probation? You nigga stupid, man. Bro, let me out, dog. I ain't got time for this shit y'all talking about, man. For real, this man. This nigga said let him out, he on probation? I ain't even here with y'all, man. I'm a felon. He a felon? On my mama, man. I, been, I ain't been home for two weeks. Oh, hell no. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Bro, that's what I'm talking about, man. Great stuff right there. Great stuff. Right. Yeah, man. I love it, man. Tell me, Appreciate tell me, tell me your inspiration with uh, because I like I said, I seen the uh the snitch in several videos, you know what I mean? That seems to be I guess one of the the good themes on some of them. Tell well, me the snitch, inspiration the snitch thing, it just it just stuck. I really didn't want to continue to do snitch videos, but that's just what took off. Okay. You know, if it ain't broke, don't fix it, bro. So. Let, let me ask you this, because in I saw on your page one day, like I wouldn't tell, I couldn't tell if you was in your character or if you was dead ass real, but it was like, yo, these are skits, man. You know, what I'm saying y'all ain't gonna come at me sideways. Like fools is really taking that shit seriously, and you know, what I'm saying they do, but they let me know I'm doing my job when they take it serious, though. That's true. They, I mean, they, they have some hot. You know, this people, some, people, some people, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's all, everything is entertainment, bro. But the way I do it, I don't crack a smile, keep a serious face. I I go live and be in straight character mode. And he's like, man, he really is a snit. I'm just entertaining, baby. You know what I'm saying? And some people can't, don't know how to differentiate from, from that. And, uh, you know, a lot of people hit me up all the time. Man, you a snitch. I reply back, yeah, big snitch. <laughs> you know what I'm there you go. How how do you like how long does it take for the creative process? Like I said, you, you put out material pretty frequently. I don't write. 
So, you know, I think of four, five skits a day I do, you know, it just, it's how I'm feeling. It's what mood I'm in. Like right now I'm in a great space mentally. Okay. So the skit that y'all probably seen this morning about the school days, after I dropped my kids off of school this morning, I did it then, right after that. Just spur of a moment, I think of an idea and I just shoot. Okay. I don't, I don't have to get together two or three days of playing a skit. Right there on the spot, I can make it happen. Right, right there on the, the spot. spot. Damn, that's, I mean, that's life. Like you said, that's real life. So that part right there is, is awesome. You know, that you, that, you, that you had that ability to do that, man. Um, Tell me a little bit about, um, as far as your stand up. I think it's the Northern Southern tour. Is that what y'all call it? Yeah. Uh, so I got to clean on the comedian. You know, he got the North side, I got the South side. We're just coming together. Uh, okay. two, two different flavors, but it's all good. It's all good. We just come together and uh, put something down. Uh, this Sunday, we're going to be in uh, Atlanta at the Langer Comedy Theater. Yeah. So uh, we're going we're gonna to link up. We're gonna put together a hell of a show. We're gonna give the people what they want, and, and, you know, and they're gonna be asking for another show. And we're gonna give it to them. For sure, that's that's awesome, man. That's that's good. I, mean, stuff. I just, I just what I said. We just come together doing what we do. Uh, you know, ain't no competition. You just making the people laugh, and that's just what it is. Uh, I tell people all the time when I first got into this game and I was doing stand up, I was competing with other people. Instead of worrying about my set, I'm trying to be better than the next man, and, and, and it ain't the way it's supposed to be. As long as I'm funny on my set, it's all that matters. That's all that matters. What you do, what you do is what you do. But, Recording you know. in progress. Yeah, and that I, makes sense. That makes sense for sure. I really, I really do agree and, with and, that. And that's what it's about: uh, cheering on your brother or your sister. Um, me from from, from you no know, from how I am I'm I'm always cheering on uh, you know most of the shows you know what I'm saying when I go do a show it be other comedians going before me I sit down and I listen to them. I don't be in the back not you know what I'm saying I, I want to listen to the people man I want to let them know you know what I'm saying I'm watching too uh, get you know get people encouraged me man you know a lot of people we live in a society there's too much competition man people don't want to encourage one another you know they 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 greet. Yeah, that ain't that ain't dub. I want everybody to eat. I eat, you eat. That way I can sleep good at night. Yeah. But uh, I guess the way I think that's the way I'm prospering, man. That's the, just the way I move and that's the way I roll. And that's kind of what I spoke about even before uh, me and you went live. The same thing is like, you know, I feel like, you know, even with this pandemic and things going on, it's like, you know, uh, I've been highly blessed, you know what I'm saying? Me and my fam, same thing. Um, it's just like you said, what you put in. Uh, what you put out is, you know what I'm saying, basically what, you know, comes back. So, sure. You know what I'm saying? Good vibes, good positive vibes, surrounding yourself with the right people, you know what I'm saying, having the right team and influencing folks in the right way. There you go. That's the, that's the formula. That's it. There you go. All right. So, um, as far as this weekend, you got folks coming out, you said Sunday in Atlanta, the Atlanta Comedy Theater. That's on Jimmy Carter Boulevard. I'm very familiar with the facility. Very nice facility. Um, what you want people to know? I mean, as far as what you and Cleon will be bringing to the uh, table this want, weekend, why should they come out to see you? This man, I just want I just want the people at ATL pull up. Uh, I know you're gonna been to a thousand of comedy shows, but you ain't never been to one like mine. You finna get the, the, the you finna get the work. You finna get some uncooked ground meat, which I call raw. I'm yeah. finna go down through there. I'm finna take you on a journey. It's gonna be a hell of an experience and you're gonna love that you came out. Like when you come to my show, you really gonna enjoy it. And like I say, what you see on skits is what you're gonna see on stage times 10. So you in for a treat, not only with me, but with my boy Cleon, comedian as well. But uh, this weekend, you pull up this Sunday, go to church, pay your tithe, eat your little supper, watch your little football. Hopefully the Falcons win because I don't want y'all grumpy when I'm up in there. <laughs> We're gonna be grumpy, nigga. We're gonna be grumpy because we playing Buccaneers this weekend. <laughs> and we're gonna be mad as hell. We're gonna go down through that. I'm gonna cheer y'all up. Y'all gonna be mad about the game, but y'all gonna be glad y'all came to see me. <laughs> there you go. We're gonna need it. We're gonna need it after that. And most comedy clubs got the best wings and shit, so be sure y'all get your two drink items, your two drink minimums, and, and tip your waiters, as they say. <laughs> For sure. Yeah. 
Thug away with some love, man. <laughs> hey, man, how, how can people get in touch with you? Uh, man, y'all can get in contact with me. Well, really, my manager. I can kind of got out of you know, you know what I'm saying? You want to get in contact with me, you got to get in contact with my man. You go to Bubba I'm in social media, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know, I'm on all social media, man. Catch me on IG, Bubba Dub 94. Catch me on Facebook. Um, like page, Bubba Dub Jr. Catch me on YouTube, Bubba Dub. Or you can just go to my website, Bubba Dub Entertainment.com. You can catch oh, me there. There you go, man. Hey, man, do one thing for me. We're going to let you go. Tell them I'm Bubba Dub Jr. I'm kicking it with KC and the X Squad Affiliates. It's Bubba Dub Jr. and I'm kicking with KC. It's right, Affiliates. That's right. Thank you, brother. Hey, man, I appreciate you, man. We're going to get people to come out there this Sunday, man. Thank you, man. Very funny. Yes, sir. Uh, keep prospering, man, doing what you do. Keep on building. You know what I'm saying? And, hey, i see you at the top soon. Yes, sir. All God right, bless you. God bless you. Be easy. All right, that's your boy Bubba Dub Jr. Uh, I think the audio side of the podcast, I don't know what it was. I think it had a glitch or something, but we'll get that fixed in the mix. So this will be available for all the platforms shortly. It'll be on iHeartRadio, Pandora, TuneIn Radio, Google Podcasts, Apple Podcasts, Amazon Music, uh, Spotify, all places. So anyway, thank y'all. We're going to have... Another episode, we'll have, see if we can get Cleon, the comedian, on uh, next. Uh, so we will convene this one, and uh, you'll see me live again to have your boy Cleon next. So I appreciate y'all, and thanks for kicking it with Key C. Yes. Magnificent, I will be better than I ever been. I will be free, I will shine bright, reflect the limelight. Do it like this is my last time. I will be me. Can you see me standing in front of the crowd with a sound that resounds like thunder? Make them so proud when I rock loud, cause I shut them down and make MCs wonder how I can do it like this at any given time. Give me 16 bars, I get in your mind. Look and you will find that I'm nothing more than a messenger that's blessed with the gift of rhyme. I Grind, trying to find my treasure Diamonds form under pressure Spit it so clear, make them all see the picture Nothing like spitting for those who really get you Tonight, I will be magnificent Recording stopped I Better than I ever been I will amaze me, true to myself They can't change me I will be hip-hop, you don't stop I will be, I will be, I will be Sitting on the edge of a dream and I'm always this close. I've been rocking mics up and down the East Coast. Done radio shows, been an open mic host. I once even warmed up the crowd for most, but none of that matters when you still punching in, taking calls. And when it all falls down, I'm left wondering where the fire went and how to get it back into my environment. Because right now, I'm living for retirement. This is a podcast.